Yo! Hey what's up there people, I'm here again for another video and I'm talking today about WWE Over The Limit, okay? Now, it's a bit early for me to talk about pay per view because, you know, it is like two weeks away. But, oh well, I'm going to talk about it anyway because it actually seems not that bad actually. I mean, at first I didn't like the title, you know, but I'm sort of getting to like it now anyway, so yeah, okay. But first of all, before I get started, I want to give a shout out to um, a person who's, I, I don't know, relatively new on YouTube and... And in my opinion, it's pretty underrated. And his YouTube channel is, if I can just find it now, bear with me one second. I just had it a minute ago. Okay. Old School Ted 1. Okay. Now, this guy is a pretty awesome guy, you know. He is pretty knowledgeable and stuff like that. And he's a pretty cool guy. So, if you haven't already checked him out, go and subscribe to him if you feel like it. And yeah, that's that. Okay. Now, over the limit. Get the pay per view up. Okay, one second. Alright then, okay. It seems pretty okay because. How can I say? It's been built up okay. And what I mean by that is, like, you've seen Edge and Randy Orton over the past couple of weeks having a bit of a, you know, feud going on. I mean, it's, it's not lasted that long, but it's sort of coming together now, and I, I can understand it. I mean, I'm excited to watch the uh, match like you're supposed to do. It's supposed to build you up and stuff like that. And it looks pretty awesome. I mean, Edge vs. Orton, I don't think we've seen that for ages. And I think the last time um, I actually saw them together in the same ring, apart from you know, promos and all that wrestling was probably when they had rated RKO. So, yeah, it's going to be a pretty awesome match, I think, anyway. The story's pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm still making my mind up about Randy Orton. Is he heel? Is he, f um, you know, face or what? You know, I think Edge as well is in between because some of the remarks he makes are face and some of the remarks he makes are heel. So, it's a bit like that. So, who knows? Should be a good match, anyway. Now, John Cena and Batista. Now, there is a rumour, so it's not a spoiler, it's a rumour. Batista is apparently, according to the rumour, leaving soon, and that his last match could be over the limit. So, John Cena versus Batista, it looks this way that John Cena is probably going to win the championship. Um, I mean, this is going to be the third match we've seen in them, I think, considering the pay-per-views. I mean, I mean, they've had some good matches, actually. I thought, I mean, the WrestleMania match was a lot more better than I predicted it to be. And the Extreme Rules match was pretty good as well, so this hopefully should be good, okay? And it is for the championship. In my opinion, John Cena will retain. You know, it's not a prediction video, it's just a talking video, really. And then, Rey Mysterio and CM Punk, this should be pretty awesome. awesome. Um, the pledge to join the Straight Edge Society and the taking off his hair match. This is the second hair match we've seen, so... Who knows, I mean... I don't really know what CM Punk would look like bald. Bald. Pretty disgusting, probably. I think it just it just wouldn't suit him. I mean, he probably looked like Doug Basham. So please don't go bald, CM Punk. He looks cool, doesn't he? He looks pretty awesome, you know, with his hair like that. I don't think he will. Um, but this is not a prediction video. And then Jack Swagger versus the Big Show as well. Should be a good match. I hope the Big Show wins. He hasn't had a push for ages. He deserves one. So I really, really hope he does win. So and they built that up, aren't they, for. A, not really built it up the maximum, you know, like, but Big Show has been knocking people out, you know, he knocked out Edge, um, who else it, Chris Jericho, The Miz, and Jack Swagger, so, they built him up quite good in the past couple of weeks, so, I just hope they can, um, get something of that, yeah, WWE Over the Limit does a quick talk and stuff like that, live on May the 23rd, the theme song is Crash, by Fit for Rivals, just in case you want to know, and it's in Michigan, so, there you go, just a video about it. And remember to go and subscribe to Old School Ted 1 as well. I'll put his link in the box. So peace out, people, and I'll see you soon.